All right, folks, back from doing that craziness. I had to go get a steering wheel pulley. Uh, so this is gonna be part four of the video. Um, if you are to do this with yours, you're gonna have to pull from the top and bottom here, top, bottom. So you're gonna need a pull system that hooks behind these but leaves your cock, uh, clock spring intact. Um, yeah. So then you just disassemble it for fun, you know. Okay, so take the old uh, system off, take the back hub off. Uh, the one I bought has another one on it, so. So, really, I don't know why I did that. I might need the screws from it. Anyways, well, this is the old steering wheel. We don't need the old steering wheel anymore. There's nothing to transfer over. So, yeah, I'm gonna just stick one. These back screws in place. Um, if you were... Just replacing the cruise control. You wouldn't do what I'm doing, but since I have a new steering wheel and all, I don't need the old one. So, okay. Now we go. New one's all stripped, everything, or not stripped, but everything's taken off. A little dirty, but who cares? Alright, get the new cruise control system going. Mm -hmm. Gotta put the cruise control on first and then have the wiring through. Yep. So I'll just plug and play kind of thing. Take your tiny screws. Uh, for the on and off switch, there's going to be one um, extra little piece. Uh, obviously, it's that's gonna have to connect to the upper part for the on area. That is gonna be your ground wire. It's very important to make sure you have the connected or you won't have a cruise control.
and toast. Bum, 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 bum. Put the, uh, shoot, I forgot what they called this. You're gonna have to put this through this side. Oh, this side here. Feed it through, maybe. Hopefully. Feed it through safely. There we go. I'm going to grab the other one just to see how that one's in. So, okay. All right. So with the, I gotta pull it back out. The piece that clips in, pull it out again, make sure you don't damage anything in the process, because that would not be fun. Perfect, looking kind of good. And then with the back harness, or whatever this, the wiring is, make sure it clears when you reattach the uh, cover on it and everything, so you don't pinch any wires. Good. Just double checking the work, make sure everything looks good. Very nice so far. Oh, 
depending on how skilled you are and or uh, tools you have, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long in general. It just depends on what you do and do not have. If you are not successful by hitting it and pulling it out with a steering or with just your hands, I advise to get a steering wheel um, pulley because uh, you don't want to use anything else. Because if you mess that up, I mean, I'm pretty much screwed. Just reattaching the steering wheel or the cruise, I'm attaching the cruise control stuff, everything's connected right now it's looking mighty good unfortunately it's going to be a four-part episode uh, this one's going to be the longest um, but yeah which one's the new one that one's obviously dirty so that's the old one okay Attach it after. Okay. Um, I probably just need to loosen these. Trying something a little, not a little different, but I'm just removing the cruise control stuff and then attaching the um, the cover for the back first and see if that helps. So it's pinching the wire here.
better. Because I am backwards. Oh, that's right. Alright, well this video is long enough. I'm going to try and figure this out. Um, it'll be a part 5.